kids, they saw me in my, my uh, costume and they cried. So... Hey fanatics, Angelina Jolie's acting break may not be ending anytime soon, but her straight girl persona sure is. And you know what? This time, she needs it to happen. Hollywood has been forcing her into unimaginable things and she's finally chosen to speak up about it all. In a recent interview, she openly admitted that she hasn't been herself in a decade and she took a break from acting to heal. But instead, she's feeling worse now and if it weren't for her kids, she'd have gone under in a much, much worse way. Now that's scary. But who's really behind Angelina's downfall? Someone's already spilled the beans on Angelina's hidden sexuality saying, Angelina is an unbelievable lesbian lover. She loves women too much. It's like a drug. And she was hooked. I was her first. And although she's having a baby with Brad, I doubt I'll be the last. As it turns out, Jenny Shimizu was right. From her separation from Brad Pitt to her crippling depression, here's why Jolie's perfect little life is falling apart. Welcome to Fame Fanatics. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button to stay in the loop with all the latest celebrity news. Angelina Jolie has been going through some tough times lately, and she's opened up about it in a candid interview. In a recent Vogue cover story, she poured her heart out, revealing that she's been feeling down for quite a while now. She even mentioned that she hasn't felt like herself for a whole decade, and although she didn't dive into specifics, you can't help but wonder what's been bothering her so much. Now, the interview mainly focuses on her new venture in the world of fashion with Atelier Jolie. But Angelina couldn't help but talk about her rock song support system, her six amazing kids. We've got Maddox, Pax, Zahara, Shiloh, and twin Snox and Vivian in the mix, all contributing to her strength during these trying times. Interestingly, she didn't mention her ex-husband Brad Pitt at all, but when she talks about her transformation over the years, it's clear that her timeline syncs up with her split in 2016. Angelina became a mother at just 26, and that turned her life upside down in the best possible way. She expressed how having children saved her and taught her a whole new way of being in the world. Here's a rather scary confession from her. I think recently, I would have gone under in a much darker way had I not wanted to live for them. Anyhow, she strives to be a safe haven for her kids, providing them with stability, but she's also the one they share hearty laughs with. It's a beautiful balance. Fashion has been a therapeutic journey for Angelina amidst the challenges in her personal life, but the industry has also been her worst nightmare at the same time. She emphasized the importance of women feeling safe enough to embrace their softer side. It's interesting to note that at one point, she felt that wearing flowing garments was not her style. She thought pants and boots projected a tougher image, but she questioned herself, wondering if she was strong enough to be soft. But at that time, she felt vulnerable. Currently, she She's in a state of transition as a person, and she's been feeling down lately, not like herself for the past 10 years. But if we roll the clock back to her secret queer life, we find that it was a time when she felt pretty content. So could it be that the fact that she's suppressing her true sexuality, that's pushing her over the edge? Jenny Shimizu would agree. In fact, she predicted Jolie's downfall a long time ago. Oh yes, she didn't pull any punches when talking about her past relationship with Angelina Jolie and her predictions for Angelina's future romantic endeavors. It all began when Angelina had to publicly acknowledge her bisexuality and her rumored romance with model Jenny back in the 90s. Angelina was smitten from the moment she laid eyes on Jenny during their time working together on the film Firefox. She even went so far as to say that if she weren't married to Johnny Lee Miller at the time, she would have tied the knot with Jenny. That's some pretty intense affection, right? But Jenny wasn't just a passive obsession server of their romance, she had her own take on the situation. In an interview with Girlfriend magazine, she spilled the beans on Angelina's love for women, saying, Angelina is an unbelievable lesbian lover. She loves women too much. It's like a drug, and she was hooked. I was her first, and although she's having a baby with Brad, I doubt I'll be the last. Jenny didn't mince words, suggesting that Angelina might have been playing house with Brad Pitt, but according to her, that fairy tale wouldn't last long. She had a hunch that Jolie had a penchant for danger and flirting with a darker side of life, rather than settling into a conventional monogamous relationship with one man. Jenny emphasized, 
Angelina loves danger and dabbling in the dark side. That's where she gets her kicks, not playing happy families with one man. More to the point, I know how much she loves women. The ironic twist in this story is that a few years down the road, Angelina and Brad Pitt did indeed part ways, and they've since gone their separate directions. Coincidence? I think not. Around the time of their divorce, there were rumors swirling around about her and Brad, especially regarding potential cheating allegations. Some sources claim she got close to their kid's nanny, Lena Gold, and was even spotted holding hands with her in London. Angelina acknowledged that she bonded with Lena, but she insisted it's more of a emotional connection. However, given her open bisexuality, Brad wasn't completely crazy to be suspecting a little something. Moreover, Jolie's career choices have also evolved over time. She decided seven years ago to take on roles that didn't require long shoots, prioritizing her family. It's clear that her family has been through quite a bit, and they're still finding their footing together. Working on Atelier has been a therapeutic escape for her, a space to rediscover herself and usher in changes in her life. To be honest, Angelina's journey to self-discovery has been quite complex. Her childhood experiences played a significant role in shaping her sexual identity. She lost her virginity at a young age, just 14, and had a rocky start with her first boyfriend leading to a battle with depression. These early ups and downs helped her understand her sexuality early on, and she grew up knowing she was a queer woman, despite her marriages to men, including her high-profile union with Brad Pitt. In an interview with Elle, she confidently declared herself as bisexual, stating, Honestly, I like everything. Boyish girls, girlish boys, the heavy and the skinny. She was never one to fit into conventional boxes, which is something she's proud of but it did come to bite her in the ass later on in her marriage. Now, you might be wondering when Angelina discovered her queerness. The truth is, it was during her marriage to Johnny Lee Miller, one of her four husbands, that she realized she was bisexual. She fell in love with another woman and didn't hide it from her husband. In a 1997 interview with Girlfriends magazine, she shared this part of her journey herself. Throughout her life, Angelina has had support from those around her, especially Johnny Miller, who played a crucial role in supporting her emotionally during her coming out process. But even someone as strong as Angelina had moments of confusion and uncertainty before embracing her queerness fully. She had crushes on women like Michelle Pfeiffer when she was a teenager, but didn't quite understand those feelings at the time. Moving on, Hollywood hasn't always been kind to Angelina Jolie either. In fact, she found herself in the crosshairs of Hollywood super producer Scott Rudin, who didn't hold back in his criticism. In leaked emails during the 2014 Sony hack, he called her a camp event and a celebrity, adding, I'm not destroying my career over a minimally talented spoiled brat, but like many other scandals in her life, Jolie managed to bounce back. Remember when she was dragged into the Brad Pitt and Jennifer Aniston divorce drama in 2005? The tabloids labeled her a home wrecker. Yet she cleverly turned potential career destruction into a reinvention of her public image. With Brad Pitt by her side, Jolie transformed from the tabloid's favorite sensationalized bisexual temptress into a compassionate earth mother. Finally, despite a recent report suggesting Jolie's desire to return to Hollywood stardom, it appears she's largely stuck to her word. Her focus has shifted towards making a meaningful impact on pressing global issues, while her acting career has taken a backseat. Let us know what you make of Angelina's struggles and we'll catch you in the next video.